In today's video, we will learn about a light rail system in Almada, Portugal on the south bank of the Tagus River. We will review the history of the project and how it became real, the infrastructure, and the trams themselves. We will also travel in the system and get to know the network. Join me! Hi and welcome to Casilhas, Portugal. We are on the south bank of the Tagus, directly opposite Lisbon. Casilhas is a major transport hub with ferry boats to and from Lisbon, buses, taxis and the reason for our visit, the Metro Sul do Tejo, a 13 and a half kilometer tram system serving the region. Here we see one of the Siemens Combino Plus trams arriving to this hub. Let's move on to the system map. There are 19 stops from which, one interfaces with the ferries, two, Coroios and Pregel, with the commuter trains, and most others have bus stops nearby. The first ideas for a rail-based system in the area started in 1985. By 1995 these were mature enough that the whole thing could be put in motion. After several delays, construction started in 2002, with the first portion opening to the public on May 1, 2007. As the project progressed, two further extensions opened, the last in November 2008, bringing the network to its current extension of 13 and a half kilometers. Several extensions are planned, but so far none materialized. As it is, it transported almost 18 million passengers in 2023. We will now move on to the infrastructure. The line is double track throughout the system with a gauge of 1,435 millimeters. Except for a short stretch of around 500 meters where the right of way is shared with road traffic, it's fully segregated. At the many level crossings, signals prioritize the trams thus enabling them to reduce travel times. Tram signals are of the very basic public transport type commonly used on tram lines all over Europe. They are used to protect level crossings and switches with only two positions, the horizontal bar means stop and the vertical one means proceed. If you are enjoying the video please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It will be much appreciated. Electrification is at 750 volt, continuos current. Catenary is of the tramway type with double contact wire where needed, good for speeds up to 70 km per hour. Current collection is done by pantographs. Stops are very basic, with a small shelter, a small bench, ticket machines and information about the schedules and rules of the system. They all have, also, electronic displays showing the time for the next trams and their destination. On the day I visited the system, they were all in good working conditions. Our next chapter are the trams. These are 24 Siemens Combino Plus delivered in 2007. Later, Siemens changed the denomination from Combino Plus to Avenio, being considered the first of the Avenio family of trams. The four stainless steel and three articulations make for a tram a little over 36 meters long and 2 meters and 65 centimeters wide. Complying with the most recent regulations, these trams are 100% low floor, with a height of only 30 to centimeters at the doors. The maximum speed is of 70 km per hour, although, in service, this has been limited to 60 km per hour. The ones here have a capacity for 70 for seating, 237 standing, for a total of 311 passengers. The interiors are spacious and light-colored in contrast with the deep blue seats. Altogether, this design makes for a very appealing tram interior. We are now at the Coroios interface and near the end of this video. Here, passengers can continue their journeys by bus or commuter train. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help me immensely to grow the channel and make more videos like this one.